Hey everybody, RPG Guy here, and I thought it'd be interesting to just throw this out there, um, and because I've gotten a lot of questions about it, and uh, once in a blue moon, people ask what I do for a living, and I tell them I write for children's television, um, specifically animation, but I write for children's television. Um, I live in Los Angeles County, technically I live in Hermosa Beach. Um, I, you know, went to college, studied writing, you know, composition, you know, degrees and, and whatnot. And, uh, I do this for a living. I do this as a career. And, uh, one of my fun things that I like to do, one of my hobbies outside of playing video games and uploading those plays on, uh, YouTube, which is really what the, my channel is. It's a Let's Play channel. But uh, a lot of people asked about my arrangements. And I've done arrangements for a couple of websites in the past, like Ichigo's, under the, my, under a different pseudo name I used, uh, Nick Legato. Um, and uh, for this one, obviously, I you know a lot of people asked me about it. A lot of people qu you know were curious. What, 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 how does it work? What do you do? What are your techniques? And I said, well, instead of answering as usual, instead of answering one or two people, once and then having to answer people who constantly come in and ask me um, I found it much easier um, to maybe make an entire uh, online series YouTube series about how to arrange music from video games for orchestra and concert band tips in in doing arrangements and how to do it in a process that is uh, as, as efficient as one can do um, and I, and I, and usually what's interesting is doing things efficiently for me has always been a big deal. How to work with 8-bit soundtracks or uh, constant repeating soundtracks, because yeah, there's a lot of that. And how do you how do you really write for that? And what can you do creatively to do stuff? Cover a lot on. I'm going to cover a lot of orchestration because that's usually the one thing question wise I get the most. How do I write for clarinet? How do I write for horn? I can even <clears throat> do some of the more intense ones like how do how do you write for harp? And I can answer that, and I can tell you how to do it. I can do an, almost an entire 10-minute video, 15-minute video on how to write for harp properly. Um, uh, how to write for you know various keyboard instruments, whether it's piano, whether it's organ, whether it's harpsichord. How to write for um, world instruments like bagpipes, um, shakuhachi. Um, how to write for like uh, dulcimer, you know tempered dulcimer, dulcimer, whatever whatever comes to mind, and I will always pre tell you a preview of what the next video is going to be, and if you have curiosities or very specific questions you want covered in that video, I will gladly do it. I will also do Q&A videos of maybe something I didn't cover that you had a curiosity about, and um, you know, and the very big specifics of, of that when it comes to the orchestration. I'll do a video on do's and don'ts, the things that you should do when you do arrangements, the things you should not do when you're doing arrangements. Um, you're going to learn a famous rule that um, some of my peers have used um, over the years, and uh, I am, I, I've used them in master classes that I've taught at various universities. And I will tell you that just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. And we and I will discuss with you the very specifics of those do's and don'ts. I'll talk to you about setting up your own score, how you should go about setting your score up, whether you're writing for concert band, whether you're writing for orchestra, whether you're writing for chamber ensemble, whether you're writing for choir, whether you're writing for full orchestra with choir. We'll go over a lot of that stuff. I'm going to do a video on on the editorial portions. Editorial being like how to edit your music, how to check for errors, how to... Um, work on things like balance and making sure that the balance is correct. If you are someone who uses Finale or Sibelius as your music writing softwares, um, I'm going to tell you up front that they can be misleading uh, in the playback. So we need, And I need to share with you why that is and how to go about fixing those problems. I'm also going to do maybe a video on the software, from the writing softwares to the audio engineering softwares to the sound fonts that I recommend and I suggest you go looking for. Um, and you know, that one will be more of a video that if you guys really want to do that one, let me know, want me to do that one, let me know. I'll also do a video on how to make your own recordings that, and, and how you should go about doing that with live orchestras, things like mic setups and placements, um, and whatnot. They're, these are more like discussion videos, but we'll talk about a lot of that. And if you guys really, really enjoy this series, maybe I'll end with publishing myths. 
the publishing myths that involve arrangements, and you'd be surprised that you actually can publish most of the arrangements that you do. You just need to fill out the right paperwork. <laughs> and I can point you in the direction of some copyright lawyers um, and talk about the system, how it works in the United States, how how it works in the United States, how it works in Asia, how it works in Europe, to the best of my abilities with Asia. I specifically know Japan a bit better than I know, like China or South Korea or, you know, Malaysia and, and whatnot. And Oceania follows a very similar rule to the European copyright, so I'm not too worried about that. But I can cover a lot of those things for you to end the series. And maybe between, you know, tutorial videos and discussion videos, I'll throw out some Q&As videos. So if there's a lot of people asking a lot of the same question, or I didn't cover something, or you think that I might have maybe misrepresented something, um, I can go into vivid detail and uh, we can have a cool, really fun discussion about that. So anywho, that's the, that's the goal of the series um, for the purpose of education. You don't have to, if you're not interested in video game arrangements, this is still beneficial to you. If you want to learn how to do orchestration and want to learn how to do it well, if you want to learn maybe the software of Finale, I do light tutorial through, I'll do light tutorials involving orchestration through here. And we'll have a wonderful discussions about um, instrumentation, orchestration, and I think it'll be beneficial if you're a music major. This is pretty much your crash course in, or in orchestration. Um, and that way, if you walk into your orchestration class in college, you will probably get all the same feedback that I'm giving you now. So, anywho, and I figured as a reward, I'll play a little bit of this main theme from Grandia. This is an orchestral arrangement of it. Uh, you, I, you can, I believe, download this at itchigos.com. Um, if you just want to look at it and analyze it, I know people have already had it performed and forgot to give me credit, and I uh, I got mad at them <laughs> and called their a bullshit out, but um, and I uh, got props for doing that. But I've also had people perform this as well and uh, gave me some kudos and uh, gave me some donations for it because you know it's a, one of my free scores that's floating around out there, alongside uh, a couple of my. Uh, alongside a couple of my anime arrangements as well and so anywho don't I'm not this is don't please don't ask for me to arrange something specific that's not what this video series is for um, I do sometimes take requests but I won't take them in if you're commenting in this series this is for discussing the technique and art of orchestration so just as a heads up all right I'm sure you want to hear this let's get going
And you bet I'll stop it right there. <laughs> um, so that should give you an idea of what we're going to be talking about. Um, and you might have noticed there are errors in the score. This is actually um, an older version of the same score uh, that I, I put on, uh, I, I sent out. Um, and the reason I, I left those errors in is because I want to show you how we go about fixing them for the editorial segments and cover a lot of that cool stuff. So... And that you should save multiple versions of the work that you're doing, not just one file. So, <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little sneak peek of the kind of stuff we're going to talk about and how to do. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to do it. I hope you guys share the same excitement, so that'll inspire me to want to keep doing this. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. If you're very interested, comment below, thumbs up the video, subscribe. Um, and definitely comment what you and maybe some of the things you want me to cover um, specifics on and questions um, regarding orchestration and arranging video game music. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, your, the RBG guy. I hope to see you in this series. It'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys there.